Hi guys, this is Frenchy and today we're gonna learn tips for beginners taught by a pro. Obviously, the pro is me. <laughs> color management is the essential for me because if I don't have color management, my grade is very sad. Before we are going to the subject, here are some basics you need to know. Our eyes are seeing three channels, red, green, and blue. In color grading, we are affecting the color perceived by our eyes. So that means that we are affecting the channel of red, the channel of green, the channel of blue. So color management is the action to dial in what the camera saw on set and the display where the image is going to be broadcast on. For this, we need to affect two components, color space and color gamut. Color space is a specific measurable and fixed range of possible colors and their luminance. Color gamut is a range of chromacities with possible use and their respective maximum saturation. So to be very simple, color space indicates to the software in which range it has to find the color and color gamut indicates to the software how to interpret the color to be viewed on the display. That's why I would not recommend starting straight with the primaries. Messing with leaf gamma gain and pushing the saturation will only make you guess what the camera saw on set. Having a proper color managed workflow permits to dial in the math and have an interpretation of the footage right. To dial in a proper color management, you will have to know the camera the project has been shot on. When I was a young colorist, I never touched a camera before, so I was completely overwhelmed by the color space and the color gamut of each camera. That's why I prepare for you guys a cheat sheet where uh, you can find the color space and color gamut for each camera. Now, let's see the example together. Color management is affected in two ways in DaVinci Resolve. You can affect it in project level or you can affect it in node level. I'm going to show you the two techniques to affect this. I'm going to start with project level. You're going to go to your settings and you're going to go to color management. Color management, most of the time, as default, I have timeline color space, Rec 709, scene, and output color space, same as timeline. To have a color manage timeline, I'm just going to go to YRGB color manage and put SDR. If you see, the colors are interpreted in function of the black magic row. So here you go, you already have like a very nice base, very good primaries, and you can grade around this. Why? Because this is what the camera saw on set. If I want to be more specific, what I can do is like, I come back to my settings, and I would disable automatic color management. I would go to custom, input color space, I would put my uh, black magic row because actually it's black magic. Black magic, um, that was a Ursa G2, so this is a 4.6k film gen 3 and a timeline color space rec 709. I hit save, the same thing happened. So what the software is actually doing, if you see, when you ask it to uh, put everything in SDR, it's actually taking the Blackmagic Design 4.6K, putting the timeline in Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4, and outputting the timeline in Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So we can come back to our SDR, no change happened. So, this is the project level. So now I'm going to show you how to do it on a node base level. So you're going to type on your OFX color space transform, drag it, drop it. In input color space, it's going to be Blackmagic Design 4.6K Film Gen 3. Input Gamma is going to be Blackmagic Design 4.6K Film. 
for your timeline, it's going to be Rec 709 and the Gamma would be Gamma 2.4. You can put Da Vinci or if you want, you can put Luminance Mapping and Saturation Compression. So here you are with another interpretation of what the camera saw on set. Compared to what Da Vinci saw in SDR, it's less saturated, but on this saturation, you can compensate after in your grid. So why people like to have that node level color management? It's because you can see it on your node and you can have more possibilities to have like a more malleable color space. So I hope everything was clear and uh, this is really the techniques that we are using in the industry. So you can pick and choose and try different ones just like to feel it and feel like what you are the most comfortable with. And yeah, I see you next week for another beginner tip. See you.